Kevin Gallagher from Margaret Cinder. I'm the Connex manager in charge of the MRS campus project. And how's the bridge going? It's going well so far. We've taken possession of the A9. Uh, we now have full control and we've now moved the bridge from its temporary position out towards the A9 and we're doing our advanced works, getting the ramps put in, the columns dropped and the central reserve removed. And how many people have you got working on site today with you? There's about 55 guys on site at the moment. And is that and from all over the world? Uh, it's in various parts of Europe. I don't go as far as all the world, but it's certainly from Europe. And, uh, and how long do you reckon it'll take you to get the bridge into position? We would expect within the next half an hour or so to start inching the bridge out towards the A9. Um, an hour or so from then we'll start crossing the A9 uh, with the bridge towards its final position round about 11 o'clock or midnight. And is, it, is there been any hiccups along the way? Not so far, we're, we're progressing as we planned. And I hope that continues. Um, and what are the key steps then, just now, that you're, that you're putting in place? The key steps at the moment are getting the advance works complete. We've got, under, we've got to make sure we've got level platforms either side of the, the A9, so when the bridge comes out, it sits level. So it's putting these ramps in place and also taking away the street furniture, which is the lighting columns and the central reserve gives a clear passage through to the final position. And how did the preparation come with the bridge, getting the bridge, in, uh, getting the bridge constructed and made at the side of the road? It, it, it happened quite well. It, uh, we've got the original br uh, bridge beams were taken on site early January. Uh, the bridge came up in certain sections and it was bolted together on site here uh, and then clad on site. So the bridge is now fully complete. So once the bridge is in tonight, it will be complete. And, and what, what, do you, what do you think of it for Inverness? What does the bridge mean for, for you guys and for Inverness? It's a great project for Inverness. The whole campus project is vital for the Highlands. Uh, it keeps students in the area and attracts students to the area. So it's a really good project. We're very proud to be part of it. And what do you think of the bridge? I really like the bridge. Uh, Sunman Architects, we're the uh, concept architects for the for the bridge. We've been working on the campus for three or four years now, and it's just fantastic to see the bridge going in on what was uh, otherwise not a great night, but it's just uh, great to see it. And how was the experience in designing the bridge? Well, the bridge was the bridge was always a key part of the whole campus master plan. So it was a key connection between. You know the new campus and you know the centre of the centre of Inverness. So it was always it was always a key part of the project in that respect. And you know now it's going in that you know that connection will begin to open up and the campus will be you know begin to be integrated with uh, the centre of Inverness. A lot of people are calling it the the gateway to the Highlands. And when you come down uh, come down to Mossy Brays mm. into into the into the city, that'll make a wonderful feature. Is that what you wanted to envisage when you were designing it? Well, that was always that was always a key thought, key thought behind it, and you know we explored a range of different forms, and really felt it was it should be something which you know said something about the place and the landscape, and you know it's meant to be quite a kind of simple, elegant, slim form, and the you know the gold finish is is something that to reflect the light in the Highlands, but also something that fits with the palette of the of the landscape as well. What we you know, actively didn't want to do is a, uh, is a very kind of show-offy, kind of white-painted um, suspension bridge like you see in a whole range of towns and cities throughout the country. Can you tell people uh, who are watching live just now a little bit about what the bridge actually looks like? Well, I don't know if you can see it in, uh, behind me, but it's it's a very, very slim structure. It's got a kind of angled edge so that the light catches the top edge and the bottom edge is in shade. And it's really, it's a, it's a quite an enormous span here, and it's all one single, um, one single structure which spans that. And the aim was always to try and make it as slim and as elegant as possible. So it kind of it, it formed this very, very gentle kind of shallow arc, which was really kind of reflected the. You know the hills beyond, and kind of really marked a very important point as you got into moved into Inverness. But really, in a way that tried to say something positive about the future, but also in a way that was kind of connected with the, the place and the landscape. Um. So, has there been any challenges then in, in putting this design into into practice? Well, there's uh, there's been some huge technical challenges. It's an enormous span. It's in uh, you can see the you can see in the background you can see the sheer scale of the bridge. It's an enormous span, and to get it to 
to span that distance and still keep, and still keep it looking relatively slim uh, has been the main challenge here. But um, you know, Morgan Sindel and the and the rest of the construction team have done a fantastic job on it. And then. Um are you happy now? You can see it at the side of the road. I think a lot of people locally have been driving past it, seeing it sitting there. Are you happy with the way it looks and you think it's going to fit in? Yes, I think I, it looks fantastic to me and it does what, you know, it, it, it does what it was the, the original design intent was, which is to be this very kind of slim, elegant structure which had a reflected the, reflected the light, although it's hard to see it on such a snowy night, but it it, it, it works in the way it was intended to, but the, the, sh the sharp edge to it really makes it look as slim as, 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 slim as it can be. Um, is there anything you'd like to add at all about the process? Well, I think I just uh, I think uh, you know, standing here tonight in this kind of rather rather wintry night, I uh, seeing the bridge go in. I mean, bridges historically have been quite quite kind of romantic projects in a way, you know, the construction of a bridge is always a, always a big thing, it joins two places together, it's a huge engineering achievement, so, you know, just talking to the Morgan Sindelak team, team um, just behind me there, you know, they're, they're tremendously excited by this because it's, you know, it's, it's building a bridge is not something you necessarily do every day if you work in construction, so it's, it's a big, it's a big day for them and also, you know, it's a new it's a new bridge for the city of Inverness, and you know, it's the in the future, millions of people will pass under this every day to go to work, to go to visit the Highlands beyond. So it's uh, it's a big thing. <laughs> Sales Enterprise uh, own the site where Inverness campus has been developed and it's also Highland Sales Enterprise that's doing all the development that's happening at the moment. All the infrastructure that's happening on site, the roads, the trees, the planting and of course the bridge which is going on this evening. And how's the bridge going? How's the progress been so far? Well, despite the weather, but that doesn't seem to cause too many problems, I think very shortly the bridge will be ready to start moving across the road. Um, all the lampposts and barriers on the road have been taken out, so the, the way is now clear for it to start moving. Um, and, and, and what do you think this means for the Highlands? Inverness Campus is a really big project for, for the Highlands. It's certainly one of the largest that Highlands Lands Enterprise has been involved in. It's going to make a, a difference to the economy of the Highlands and Islands in terms of bringing uh, jobs and attracting new businesses to the area. But also for the people who are staying uh, in the Highlands and Islands, it's going to be a fantastic new uh, facility for the community as well as an opportunity for people who want to stay and study in the Highlands to do so. And what does the future hold then? Once, once, once tonight's completion of the bridge in place, what comes next? Well, the infrastructure is moving on apace. Um, that's going to be uh, finished by early summer. And then at that point, the uh, contractors who are building Inverness College, which is part of the University of the Highlands and Islands, will be on site. And Inverness College will be open in 2015 for students coming in in the autumn of that year. And, and what do you think about the bridge? What do you think? We just had a talk to the designer of the bridge, and we were talking about how it was a great gateway to the Highlands. What do you think of the bridge? I, I, I love it. Uh, I think it's going to be such a landmark for this area. Um, anybody who's coming down the A9 will, will see it. It'll frame the view behind it beautifully. Um, and I think it's really quite an exciting thing to see it coming in. Um, and it'll be a great landmark for the campus itself. Um, the, there's a lot of talk about um, the different industries that are going to be on site as well as the university. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, um, Scottish Government uh, designated the site um, with, as an enterprise area for life sciences, so we have uh, particular incentives to encourage life science uh, businesses to come onto the site. Um, however, there, there will be other businesses that will be welcomed up onto the site as well. Uh, we're working with partners in terms of there's a hotel project which will be coming on, um, there's also uh, other uh, academic institutions that are interested in locating on the site too. Excellent. Is there anything you'd like to add? 
I think it would be well worth for everybody to come and see the bridge once it's in place later on today and then later on in the summer they'll be able to come and see the rest of the campus when we'll be able to open it up. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, I'm Alec Patterson, I'm the Chief Executive of Highlands and Islands Enterprise and we're here quarter 20 past 10 on a cold Saturday night. We thought it would be a nice spring night but it's snowing. But we're here to actually um, see the installation of this bridge going across the A9. A really important development for the Inverness campus because it starts to link both the campus site and the other part of the city. And uh, just desperate to see the thing actually start to move into location, which I'm sure it will do over the next half hour or so. It will be uh, a landmark for Inverness, something quite distinctive and quite unique, which will be um, visible for people coming into the city, both from the north uh, and from the south. And uh, of course, it's just part of the campus, the campus development, the Inverness campus, is one of these once in a lifetime, once in a generation opportunities to do something really significant for the city, but also for the Highlands and Islands more generally. And from a Highlands and Islands enterprise point of view, uh, the campus is um, designed to be a globally attractive location, a place where companies, where researchers, where universities, where enterprise generally will come over the next few years and together make this uh, location really, really attractive. So we see the campus as not just a local thing, albeit it's here in Inverness, but a really attractive location um, which will market and already are marketing successfully across, um, across uh, many countries uh, in the world. Of course, one of the characteristics of the campus is it has to be really high quality. And the built environment, once you see the buildings have gone up, will be to really high international design standards and the landscaping the natural environment is a very high standard as well. So I think this uh, campus will be something which, as a city, we can be proud of and which will attract jobs, investment over many years to come. Um, and and, and how, how, what do you think of the bridge itself? Well, I, I think the bridge is uh, remarkable. I mean, it, it, it serves a purpose. It is a bridge. It connects the two parts of the city, and that's vitally important. But it's more than that. I think it's part of the public art. It could be a landmark, um, a, a visual impact thing for the city, which you see as you come in both from the north uh, and from the south. And it's been very carefully designed so that it is not obtrusive, but it's actually quite striking. So I think it's something which, is a, as a city, we can be proud of, and, and as part of the campus infrastructure, something which will be a great asset. It opens up a whole new part of Inverness. When the, when the campus is open, it'll be a, 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 new, a new life to the city in a new area. How important is it to keep students and people in the Highlands? Well, the campus is designed to be a, a location for business, for education, for research, for enterprise generally. Of course, the first uh, sign of life, if you like, you'll see on the campus will be the University of the Highlands and Islands, Inverness College building going up. And of course, we think the campus is hugely important in terms of providing a location where students can come and study. Most students from the Highlands, but I think this will be a magnet to attract students in from uh, other parts of the UK to come and study here in what will be one of the best uh, campus facilities um, anywhere in the UK. But of course, it's more than just an educational facility. It is an enterprise area for life sciences, and so we expect other businesses to come and locate here. And that mix of research, of academia, of business, of enterprise really makes this an exciting um, uh, development. It's also community development, and that's an important aspect of it. We're linking with this bridge, the campus site, into the Rigmore uh, part of the city here, uh, into the Centre for Health Science, into Rigmore Hospital, and so on and we plan to have sports facilities here. We want it to be a place where people can come and walk and just enjoy the environment. So it's all of these, all of these things that go together to make this quite a unique and quite an interesting mix uh, of components. Is there anything you'd like to add before we get back to uh, finally moving the bridge into position? No, I just want to see the bridge move. I've been here, it's a cold, snowing uh, spring. Is it a spring night? But it's snowing here in Inverness. Here we are on the 6th of April, and uh, it would just be great to see the bridge starting to move and to, and to move into place. It will be a number of weeks before it's open to the public, but getting it in location today is uh, really important. And it's a massive undertaking by Morgan Sindel, our contractors, and you know, credit to them for the work they've done and for this undertaking here tonight. I think there are about 60 guys working here through the night, um, so they're doing a fantastic job. But uh, great to see the bridge um, actually in place, and uh, as of tomorrow, there will be a new uh, landmark, there will be a new thing on the horizon for Inverness, which I'm sure will be a, um, a, a talking point, a discussion point, a focal point for many years to come. Thank you very much, Alex.
Hi, I'm Ian Phillips and uh, I'm Morgan Sindel's uh, area manager in Inverness. And how are we getting on tonight now? We're making excellent progress at the moment. It's just coming up for one o'clock in the morning. The bridge is 95% of the way across the A9, um, so we've made good progress so far. The next stages for us are to uh, transfer the bridge over the, uh, the, into its final position and secure it in place and then remove all the temporary works that we put in place to allow the installation to happen. So what kind of works had to go on on the ground for the bridge to be taken out? What we had to do was we had to remove a number of the street lighting columns, we had to remove a portion of the central reservation and we also had to build up the levels of the uh, on and off ramps with some imported fill. And, and what kind of implications does that have for the road when it goes back again? It won't have any implications for the road because it's all been fully protected and it will all be removed before the road reopens uh, later on this morning. Um, and before the bridge was brought out, it, we, a lot of people coming north and, and heading south will have seen it sat at the side. What happened? What's the story of the bridge before it was brought out? Uh, basically, it was installed um, on, on the campus site itself, um, fully built offline. Um, and to allow the, the mode of uh, installation that we have at the moment, it was really all completed uh, offline um, on the campus site. It means that the installation is a, is a one-night operation um, and limits the impact on the A9. And we're looking forward to the future then. Um, we're, we're just about to lower it in. What's the, what, how, do we, how is the bridge secured? Um, it's fixed on to a number of uh, permanent abutments and piers via a number of bearings to allow uh, movement during uh, when the temperature uh, uh, fluctuates. Excellent. And, uh, and what does the bridge mean to, to the local area, do you think? Um, well, I think uh, it's certainly going to be a, a, a gateway to the Highlands. Um, personally, I think it's a fantastic looking bridge. Um, you know, the, the gold colour makes it really striking and I think it, uh, it's really going to help to put uh, Inverness and the, the new campus really uh, really on the map. Um, and talking widely uh, about the, the campus site itself as well, what does the bridge mean now that it's coming across the town? Uh, it means that it's really going to give uh, unrestricted free access to uh, the residents of, of Inverness City onto the new campus. And, uh, and how important is the campus up here? I think it's, uh, it's a really exciting uh, development uh, for the future and uh, I think it will have a, a host of uh, benefits for the local community going forward. Is there anything you'd like to add about Morgan Symbol at all? Um, well, I'd just like to say that we're, uh, we're really pleased to be uh, doing this uh, operation. It's not, uh, it's not every day that an operation such as this happens in the Highlands and uh, it's all going according to plan at the moment, which is great.